hey guys welcome back to my channel and i am back with another video if you're returning thank you so much if you're new here thank you thank you thank you for taking the time out of your day clicking on my video make sure you guys hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you don't miss any videos that i post any content that i discuss on my channel i'm gonna jump right into it okay because this is something if you know me i talk about this all the time so if you follow me on instagram that at that girl honey you will see that I have been posting a lot of things centered around growth and what that looks like, how to get a growing mindset and not a limiting mindset. So what that looks like is a lot of you are stuck in these kind of negative self-talk and I know it's hard. And even the first time I did it, it was crazy. I was like, what is this? It helped me say it outwardly. And then, I, you know, slowly but surely the thoughts were there and, and I became more positive up here. But when you're outward about it and that what that looks like is instead of saying I can't, like just stop yourself and be like, wait a minute. People might look at you crazy, but guess what? Look, they're going to look, but you're going to be working on yourself. You're going to be growing and you're going to notice things is working for you. So. I would literally sit down and be like, no, <laughs> it is going to work and I can do it. I can do whatever I put my mind to. I just need to sit down and create ways and figure out what exactly is not working. Because really what, where I can't is coming from is you probably tried it once and you feel as if you're struggling when you try it that second time. And now you're starting to associate struggling with failure. However, let me, let me break this down. When I break this down, Y'all gonna be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Struggling does not mean failure. That just means you may need a little bit of help. You may need that extra nudge from something. Okay, you may need to brainstorm a little bit. You may need to rebrand something. You may, And you know, once you realize this and you look at failure as something that'll push you to do more, I guarantee you the options are endless. Because the only limit is our mind. A lot of the times people keep their cells boxed in. And if we get out of our heads and we start to walk in a positive light, you know, I'm not saying all, you know, optimistic, you know, all this optimistic talk. I used to think it was malarkey too, but then, hold up, I started doing it. I began to notice things changing and things working for me. Like I look at the gym, for instance. Hated the gym, didn't care about going, especially when the army made me, didn't really care, didn't care who it was. But once I begin to change my mindset centered around the gym, that's when I noticed a change and I could go more and I can do more things because what I was saying in my mind was not working. The ways that I had implemented that I thought I was like, this is for sure gonna work, wasn't working for me because what worked for somebody else is not always going to work for you. You have to sit down. You have to write about it. You got to talk about it and figure out what exactly is that piece that's missing. Because that's really all it is. It's just a little piece that's missing to get you up on your feet. If you really want to do something, I guarantee you, you can put your mind to it. You can make some shape. Guarantee you, it's all, it's all your mind. It does not matter if you're, if you know this is something you really want to do and this is your purpose. Don't allow any external influences to get to you. Just get with yourself. Get with a pencil. Get with the pen. Get with whatever. Get with the voice note. Get with the video. Get with anything that'll help you sit down and listen to yourself. And I guarantee you, you're going to notice yourself growing. And another thing, we can't be scared of change. Because when you change, there's going to be some things that you notice. There's going to be people that don't want to be around you. And you have to know that that's okay. I look at who I was affiliating myself with in high school and even middle school, right? I know and understand that sometimes people you start with are not always going to be those you finish with and that's okay they have things going on they have stuff they got to do sometimes you lose people we don't want to it sucks my god yes i know that it sucks however when you're beginning to morph yourself and people notice that there's going to be some times where you lose friends. There's going to be some times where people don't want to hang out with you because they see that change and they see you growing you shouldn't <laughs> get upset and get in a, in a big old fret you know just calm down and know and understand that this is change another thing i want to say is sometimes people get still and they're stuck that's just the time where you really need to focus on whatever's going on elevate yourself and figure out well how can i 
get out of this stillness? How can I move forward? And all that is, is that means you, one, you gotta be patient and understanding and see what options do I have and kind of go to the drawing board. Y'all can't keep saying, well, this is how I was when I was 13. I get that, but sir, you are not 13 anymore. <laughs> Sometimes we're reared in not so great environments, not so so warming and accepting and loving, okay? You shouldn't want to stay stagnant and you shouldn't want to look at criticism and feedback as negativity. That's another thing, and even I'm working on it, you know? Be, be open, be listening, be teachable in this life because sometimes people will see things that you don't always see, and that's okay. And that's why you hear what they have to say, you listen, don't be rude about it, you know, and I'm working on that myself. And listen to what they're telling you, think about it. And don't let it get too too much in your head, but then know how to move forward. Be open to criticism, be, be teachable in this lifetime. Thank you so much for watching my video and listen to me talk. <laughs> get the conversation going, get the discussion going, get the gears ticking, okay? Comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And as always, I can't wait to see you guys again. See you guys next time. Bye.